and at any time. Just ask Sarah, who's behind the camera, what your question is, and we'll be able to answer that for you. So come with me. We're going to walk to the folks at Task Performance on Magazine Street. These guys have let us come into their office and their business and do this portrait. As you see here, we're in the task performance uh, space here on Magazine Street. It's about 20 degrees colder than it is outside. They have cucumber water right here. You can come in and cool off. And uh, speaking of cooling off, you can uh, try one of their uh, bamboo, how, how do you say it? Is it bamboo created lace? What is it? Um, little rayon for stretch. Uh, the benefits of using bamboo is it offers a natural UPF of 50, doesn't hold any odor at all, uh, just naturally moisture wicking itself. Yes, and did we mention the cucumber water? <laughs> and then cucumber water. Wh whatever, <laughs> Seth, right? Yes. Whatever Seth said. And actually, <laughs> Brooks over at TAS sent me some uh, shirts the other day and probably the most comfortable uh, shirt I've ever worn in my entire life. Uh, but today's purpose is we're going to go talk to Ava over here. Hey Ava, hey. how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm great. So we're gonna do a very easy natural light window portrait with Ava. Right in that window over there. Take a look at that, Sarah. So we have a natural, just two cornered window pane. It, you see this everywhere on Magazine Street in the quarter. Window light is everywhere. It's free, it's available and it's very easy to get a great exposure for a portrait. So let's look at the gear we're gonna to use today. Gonna to keep it very simple. We're gonna go with the Canon 5D Mark IV. We're gonna go with the Canon 50 millimeter. Notice I have my lens hood, even though I'm not shooting in the direct sunlight, a large lens opening like this, you wanna keep this cover so there's no stray light. We wanna get as much contrast and clarity as we can and we don't want to have to do any unnecessary editing later. So let's take off our back cap first, get ready to put our lens on, and here we go. We're going to move this. And so the, if you've ever taken a course with me, you know that we let the subject set the setting. So Ava, come step right over here. Just come stand right here. We want to let the subject set the setting, which means we have to identify a subject first. So our subject is Ava. Great. So if we want to do a proper portrait, we need to make sure that there's no background element that's disturbing, distracting, or taking your, away, taking your eye away from our subject. So we do that by setting certain settings on our camera to blur out the background. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. That's done with the aperture. So the lower the aperture number, the shallower the depth of field. So this is a, an open business. Come on in. Um, the lower the aperture number, the shallower the depth of field. So we're gonna set our aesthetic first. So I'm just gonna go into the camera here, set my aperture at 1.8, set my ISO, the lowest ISO possible. Higher ISO gives you noise and grain, well, noise. I'm gonna set it at 160, which is the native ISO for this camera. A little bit more on that later. Anytime there's a topic you're not familiar with, you can always go to my blog at zacksmith.com and research in the search uh, bubble what you wanna hear about. And I probably have a video or a tutorial about that. So ISO 160, aperture 1.8, and let's go from there. So we're gonna have Ava sit down right on this box. right here facing me. So the good thing about this Pelican case right here is it's sturdy, it's durable, and it makes for a great seat if you don't have an Apple box. So if we could just look at Ava's face here, we see highlights coming in from the window, shadows coming in from the business right here. So we're gonna base our exposure 
on the highlights and go from there. So, all right, Ava, if you'll just turn your chin this way a little bit, great. If you notice the catch light in her eyes, mimics the light from the window. It's a beautiful light. Take a look at that, Sarah. Awesome, beautiful. And uh, a little insider tip right here. If you're ever looking at a magazine of a portrait and you wanna find out what did the photographer use to light it, just look at the catch light in their eye and you'll see the dominant light source or the key light. Here, the light's all over the place because it's reflecting from the sidewalk, which is a bright source, and also that Ram 1500 white truck out there. That color will come into this building, believe it or not. If that truck was red, we'd have a red cast on Ava's face. Okay, so let's go in here. So we're gonna do, look this way, beautiful. I'm gonna set my spot meter on her eye and meter for the highlight. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna read the light bouncing off the highlights of her face and put my meter on the zero, do a test shot, okay? So let's do a test shot with her face on the zero, beautiful. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So very easy right there, but if you notice things are a little overexposed in the background. So if we've got the exposure for our subject, we wanna change the background up so it's not as distracting. So continue to look that way. I'm just gonna move around. Good, hold that for me right there. Good, beautiful. It's gonna move around, set my exposure a little bit lower and change the background. Take a look at this old shot where it's bright, your eye wants to go here, but look, if we go here, those highlights are not towards the corner anymore and your eye gravitates towards her eyes. So let's go in there and do a couple of more. So Abel, on these, I want you to look at the camera on okay. this one, okay? So look right at the camera. Great, hold that, beautiful. And look this way, great, beautiful. Chin down just a little bit. Good, hold that. Awesome. Beautiful. And you look at this shot right here. Very good, very well exposed there. We have her looking at the camera and then looking away. Thank you. Have a good day. Yes, sir. And we have her looking into the shop right there. It's really wise to think about the next step, the editing phase. If we can pull some shadow detail out in Lightroom and bring down some highlights later, we might not have to get the perfect exposure when we're first shooting right now. Because when we're shooting and the, the light is natural and we're not plugged in any walls or batteries, we can shoot at will. We can have fun with it and deal with some of the editing later. But it's important to get a great exposure as close as you can now and then maybe deal with it later. We want to be too far off. We want to be in that ballpark. So totally face the window. Yeah, good. And then bring your face over this way. Good, maybe over there. Okay, do you see how there's, the, the window light is just covering the entire amount of her face now? So as we turned her towards the light, we're able to cover her face in that light. Let me delete that, just show you. So there's that first one where the window light is coming from here. And then we had her pivot towards the window. So. We're getting full, even light on her face. So I'm gonna take this exposure, so one two thousandth, say that with me, one two thousandth of a second at 1.8. I'm gonna switch lenses to the 85 millimeter because I'm getting very close and I wanna contain that background. So Abe, I'm gonna have you stand up just real quick, one second. And here's the problem, bringing, bringing your camera case as a seat. You might need what's inside of it. Okay, going back down, that's good. So the reason why I changed to the 85 is that I felt that my background was getting a little too wide and I was incorporating some highlight elements that were distracting from the eye. So I wanna just bring in my perspective. So good, Ava, look right here at this corner. Good, hold that right there for me, beautiful. Good, a couple more, good. Chin up a little bit, great, hold that, good. Okay, look at the difference in the out of focus elements right here. 
They're just faint. We don't know what it is, but look when we were shooting with our 50. See those out of focus elements? They're bright. It's hard to, hard to get something very soft right there. And here we go. So here's another thing we can do. So Ava, I'm gonna ask you to stand up again. And I'm gonna bring this here. So have another seat. Okay. So here, here's something else that we can do. If you're ever asked to, and this is something good for you guys over there. If you're ever asked to photograph some of your, uh, your clients in a shirt or something like that, this is a great, look at the light on Ava. Great color correction on all of your clothing. It doesn't have the, the, the orange cast that a tungsten light will. The diffused natural light is the best light source for any type of clothing, merchandise, jewelry. So anybody on Magazine Street, you own a business, this is the best light right here. Not to take away uh, from the benefits of a professional photographer coming in and photographing your stuff, <laughs> but if you need to do it on the fly, you know, and uh, Zach or Sarah is not here to come help you, you can always uh, do this yourself. So I'm gonna try to get the clothing in the background and Ava in the foreground. Good. Ava, look up here. Good. Hold that for me right there. Good. Okay. So this shot right here is at, let's go to the info, 1.1250 at 1.8. Note that our background is so out of focus, it's only just details of what's there. What if we want to see that there's clothes here? We need to increase our aperture. Let's go. One, two, three, one stop. One, two, three, two stops. Three, four, five stops. And we need to open up five stops. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Bring our ISO up here so we can balance that out. More on that later. So, Ava, look right up here again. Beautiful, hold that for me. Great, beautiful. Okay, look at the difference at these two shots. You can see that we're in a store. You can see the branding, excuse me, the clothes, the colors, the difference between F10 and 1.8. Look at that difference right there, guys. I'm gonna bring that a little bit closer. I see a few people are liking this right now. This is a way to incorporate the background story in. Let's say if you wanna get another person in the shot. Does anybody want to come be in this shot right here? Sure. So, no, you sit up. right there. Scoot up a little bit. How about you sit right here? Okay. Good. So, we bring two people in. Our aperture is still set at F10. See that? So, we're going to get the depth on both of these ladies right here. So, look up here, y'all. Good. Hold that right there. Good. Two, three. Beautiful. Uh, Reagan, mm -hmm. look this way. Beautiful, and get a little bit closer. Good, put your hand on her shoulder. Good, beautiful, <laughs> nice, good. Okay, they're giggling right there, but you can see, look at that natural light. Beautiful, right? So, let's say we wanna go back to that shallow depth of field. Well, all we need to do is press play, go to info, Go to that last shallow depth of field shot and bring our shutter speed to 1250 and our aperture to 1.8. All we're doing is resetting the settings to what we were at earlier, right? To get that same effect. So Ava, look this way. Reagan, scoot back a little bit more. Good. Beautiful. Chin down a little bit, Reagan. Good. Hold that for me right there. And eyes at me, Reagan. Good. Smile a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, let's say you wanted to get creative, shallow depth of field, two-person portrait, there you go. So, I wanna thank Task Performance for letting Zach Smith Photography, uh, our friend Ava and Sarah in here. Thank you, Reagan. Thank you. Uh, this was a wonderful way to incorporate a new local business and storefront into teaching people how to photograph their world with creative confidence. So I hope you visit Task Performance, and if you want to know anything about what we learned today, you can always go to www.zacksmith.com. 
go to the blog, sign up for the workshops and mailing list, and we'll see you later. Thank you.